Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to take a simple intersection such as the one you see right here and turn it into a signalized intersection. Um, time based of course, keeping things simple. Um, first things first, if you go over to just place a signal head uh, you'll get this message that you need to define a signal controller and signal group. Uh, to do that you go up here, do signal control, edit controllers, um, and right click here, make a new one. Um, we're going to want fixed time, so now we select this, edit signal control, um, come over to signal groups, right click in here, click new. Um, this will give you a signal group, you can expand this and you can select the default sequence. This one right now has um, forward, it's going to go with red, green, amber, or yellow, however you want to call it, the standard, what everyone expects. Um, now we will go down to signal programs, do the same thing here, click new, expand over here, select this, um, and now you can edit the green time based on a time scale, uh, you can expand it, you can right click in here to add a second green time if you would like, expand it the same exact way, um, and now we need to click save. Uh, you can also, I should mention, change the cycle length. Uh, you can offset um, everything into greens, all that business. And so we're going to click save and get things going here. Close this, click OK here. And now when we go to place a signal head, right click and allow us to put it in. We need to give it a, f a number. Um, we'll call this number one. Um, we will put another one here. We'll call this number two. And another one here, and we'll call it number three. So now, oh, uh, I should cancel this. I should delete all of the priority rules that have been placed in here because we no longer need those. You can do that by clicking on it and selecting it and dragging it off. Do that to all of these. Oop. Delete all of those priority rules. So now we just have these signal heads, uh, which currently are operating off of the same signal programming group, so they will all be turning green and red at the same time. Not really effective, but shows you the concept of what exactly is going on here. Um, so now that you've seen that, we can go back into signal control, edit controllers, I'll go back to the same place as before. We're going to create a new signal group, a second signal group. Um, we'll go down to here, and um, it should appear like this. If it doesn't, you still only choose you one. Uh, just click, right click, and then select show entire uh, program. Um, then down here, right now, it's only on red. You can double click and you can quickly select uh, which signal heads you which signal sequence that you want. I think it's easier to come up here. Just do this. This is still permanent red for some reason. Um, there we go. So now, we have a signal program like this. We're going to set this up so that this will operate whenever signal 1 is not. We will Add a second green time. As you can see, you can grab and just move things around if you'd like. Um, I will be doing that. So we can expand this and very close. Keeping the yellow times the same. And now we will click save again. If you forget to click save, don't worry, it'll ask and you say yes. Um, click OK, and now we're going to set one of these to signal group 2 in here by double clicking on the signal head. Uh, type um, doesn't really quite matter so much at the moment. Um, we'll click OK, and now we will see when we say the changes that this one will be green 
when these ones are red and these ones are red when these ones are green because we have it set up that way. Um, in reality, we'd probably want to have it all red, but now you can see that this functions. Um, what you want to do next, because this uh, configuration has things set up where vehicles will run into each other, you can set up a new priority rules or we'll just make this a conflict zone. Um, so we're going to pick, we're going to right click here, I'm going to set them both red so that they have no clear um, right of way, that they'll both just take concern for each other. And let's see, we'll also do this one here, we'll right click so this one has the right of way. And click here. Um, and this is actually unnecessary, but I'll do that just for fun anyway. Okay, so now we will save changes. Hopefully, this will work out. No vehicles crashing into each other here. Um, that is a bit of a problem there. As you saw, a car came and stopped um, in the lane. Um, this might actually be better if we were to give a right of way here. So we will just give this direction a right of way. Um, just because, and I'll turn this off because it seemed like it was causing some problems. And save changes. And there you have it. Functioning intersection with signals based on a time. You can create as many signal controllers as you would like, as many signal groups within the controls that you would like. Um, as you can see, if I go over here, click new, 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 there's an unlimited amount. Um, go down to here, you can see there are more now. Um, they're all default on permanent red. But once again, you can change all of those however you would like. And that would do it for this tutorial.